condensation polymers simplified. We had indicated earlier that we have two types of polymers, that is addition polymers and condensation polymers. Condensation polymers are those that are formed when monomers combine but with the elimination of a small molecule such as water. Now we realize that the monomers involved in the formation of condensation polymers usually have functional groups at each end which react with the neighboring molecule to allow for continuity of the chain. The functional groups at each end could either be a C double OH, an OH, or a NH2 group. This video simplifies polymerization process of two natural polymers, starch and protein, and two synthetic condensation polymers, nylon 66 and terilin. Welcome. The first condensation polymer that we present is a natural polymer by the name starch. We begin with its monomer. The monomer of starch is glucose. Glucose has the formula C6H12O6. But for purposes of this video, we want to show how polymerization process takes place. So we shall write this structure as HO C6 H10 O4 and then OH because we want to really show very clearly how elimination of water comes in. Now when it comes to representation of the polymerization process, allow me to use two molecules of starch to illustrate that. So we shall have HO C6 H10 O4 OH linking with a second molecule with a similar structure HO C6 H10 O4 OH Now when this happens this last H for the first molecule would react with the first OH of the second molecule to form water. The same happens for the first H of this first molecule and the last OH of the second molecule to form water. So what remains in the middle here would be the structure of our starch. And we have the chain continuing infinitely. So we have O being left after H has reacted with the other one to form water. Then C6, H10, O4. Here we shall only remain with O because we shall eliminate this H and the HO here. So after the O, we move straight to the second molecule where we have C6, H10, O4. And that would be the end of our polymer. Of course, it comes out plus N molecules of water. That is the structure of starch. And we can simplify it as follows. If you look cl clearly in the bracket, we see C6, we see H10, and we see O5 repeating itself n number of times. So here we are, C6H10O4 plus 1 makes O5. 
repeating itself here c6 h10 o4 plus 1 o5 so this becomes the simplified structure or formula for starch starch is a source of carbohydrates in food we can also use starch powder as an additive in food industry as a thickener or as a stabilizer starch is also used in paper industry and we also use starch during laundry to stiffen clothes the second condensation polymer that we discuss is protein monomer of a protein is amino acid amino acid with a structure n h h c h h and then c double bond o and o h this is the monomer for protein let us illustrate how the polymerization process takes place of course we shall use two molecules of our monomer so we have the first one here linking with the second one just for illustration purposes though we are saying that to make protein you need millions and millions of these monomers but for purposes of illustration let us just use the two so the OH terminal one for the first molecule is reacting with the first with the H of the second molecule to form water the same situation would happen with the first H of the first molecule and the last OH of the second molecule what remains becomes our polymer so here I'll have just N bonded to only one H the second one will have gone to form a molecule of water we move to the C now here bonded to two hydrogens then to the C covalently bonded to oxygen via double bond and then to the next molecule now where we meet another N H C H H and we finally have C double bond O to complete our polymer of course this is accompanied by elimination of n molecules of water so this becomes the structure of protein very very easy to obtain from our two molecules of monomers which we have used to illustrate the polymerization process now protein is a nutritional supplement that helps the body to build muscle repair tissue make enzymes and even hormones we do have protein powder which is a food supplement though in many of the foods that we eat we also obtain natural protein to our third condensation polymer nylon 66 now nylon 66 is an example of a polyamide made by polymerizing an amide so let us start with the monomers here they are two we have the first one being exane one six dioic acid this is our first monomer for nylon 66 this hexane 16 dioic acid has the formula h double o c then we have c h2 appearing four times c covalently bonded to o via two covalent bonds then an o h this monomer is reacted with a second monomer by the name exan 16 diamine this second monomer has the formula h 
N H then we have C H 2 appearing this time six times and then N H 2 now when these two monomers react we obtain an amide this amide we then polymerize to form the polyamide which nylon 66 is an example of so let us now show the representation of this polymerization process we begin with our first monomer h o c c h2 appearing four times c double bond o o h let it react with the second monomer h n h c h2 appearing six times n h2 so as this react the last o h for the first monomer is going to react with the first h of the second monomer to form water as indicated here so what do we obtain we obtain an amide with this formula h double o c c h2 four times c double bond o and then now we jump all the way to the second monomer where we meet n h c h2 six times and then n h2 this is accompanied by water so what we obtain here is called an amide an amide when we polymerize an amide we get polyamide and nylon 66 is an example of a polyamide so when you polymerize this what happens the first oh here would react with one of the hydrogens from the nh2 so we are going to lose one hydrogen atom here to remain with only one these would form another molecule of water so we remain with our polymer that can have this structure co will be bonded using a double bond now then we move to ch2 four times then c double bond o we are here then next is n h then we have ch2 six times and then here now we shall have n with only one h the other h having been lost to form a water molecule so what we have here finally is now a polyamide and we call it nylon 66 because we have six carbons one four one making six from the dioic acid and we have another six here from the diamine so because six carbons have come from the first monomer and six other carbon atoms have come from the second monomer our polymer is called nylon 66 to use this we use nylon 66 to make clothes to make ropes to make carpets and even to make brushes our final condensation polymer to discuss is terylene terylene is an example of a polyester so we shall form an ester first then we polymerize the ester to form a polyester where terylene is an example of that group so the monomers are two again this time the first monomer is called benzene one four dioic acid this monomer has a common name of terephthalic acid terephthalic acid it has the formula h o c bonded covalently via double bonds to oxygen then now we have 
this group here which we called phenyl group in yesterday's discussion then we proceed to C double bond O and then OH so this is what we call benzene 1 4 dioic acid our second monomer is the usual ethan dioic acid of course ethan 1 2 dioic acid this is not new we met it in alkenes where we said if you oxidize ethene using our usual oxidizing agents then you get ethan 1 2 diol sorry it's not dioic but diol this one has a formula of of course the structure is what i'm drawing here it is not new we are meeting it in form 3 but for purposes of this discussion we shall have its condensed structure ho ch2 ch2oh that becomes our second monomer now to representation of the polymerization process so we shall have our first monomer benzene 1 4 dioic acid benzene 1 4 dioic acid reacting with the second monomer and that is ethan 1 2 diol so during this reaction we will have this last H reacting with the first OH from the second monomer to form water. So what we produce here will be an ester with a formula. We're just copying from the monomers, but we shall exclude a water molecule. So we shall have this here. Once we reach the O, we move straight to the second monomer, CH2, CH2OH. This is an ester that we are forming together with water molecule. When we polymerize this ester, we get polyester and terylene is an example. So during polymerization, the OH here the initial OH here and the final H will also be eliminated in form of water. So our final polymer would have the structure C double bond O. We are starting here because the OH now is lost. Then we proceed to the phenyl group. Then our chain continues. but it ends at the O once we lose our H. So this becomes now the structure of terylene as an example of a polyester. Now terylene is a synthetic fiber or fabric which we usually blend with cotton or wool to give a fabric that is durable easily dyed and does not need ironing. With that, we have come to the end of this short video. We have taken you through the four condensation polymers that we usually discuss in organic chemistry form four.